Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another mixed media video tutorial with me Lisa Taggart. This one's called Discovery and I'm very lucky got the opportunity to use some brand new stamps. So first of all let's take a look at the other materials. We're using our hot press watercolour card. We're also using our sprays and we've got the mystical in amble green and the acrylic in chartreuse. We've also got uh, Mystical in Fruit Sorbet and Cranberries in the acrylic. We've got Periwinkle and Midnight Blue in the acrylic. And finally, we've got Bright Orange and Sun Yellow. For stamping, we're using Rainforest and this is the only stamping pad we're using today. Also using some colours from my Van Gogh Pastel Pencil Set. As you can see, I've got yellows and white. I've got uh, a couple of blues, dark and light. I've got uh, orange, amber, pink and uh, lime green. Also using some gel pens. These are sparkle pens in purple, orange and gold and a yellow. Um, also using a Posca pen in turquoise. Um, the large brush from the large Lavinia stamps uh, set and also some uh, stencil brushes as well. Got diamond stickles and also forgot to mention the acetate hill masks. So moving on then to the stamps. First of all the new ones. We've got the Scout in large. We've got the Snail House. We've got the th Thistlecap Mushroom. The Meadow Blossom. Forest Moss. Dragonstone Castle, Far World Castle and the Elm. These are older stamps. So if you want to convert all of those into something that looks a little like this with twinkly wings and mysterious castle backgrounds, just keep on watching. And as you can see, I've dampened down my paper, first of all, and now I'm taking the colours and swiping them across in bands, uh, starting with the yellow, then the red, and I've dipped into the chartreuse, which is a lime green colour. As you can see, uh, it's mixed with the red and created a darker streak, but don't worry about that. Um, you can take a piece of kitchen towel, as I will do shortly, and dab off the colour that uh, you don't want and blend it out a wee bit with the kitchen towel. Now I decided to take my stencil brush and lightly st stencil the orange and the idea here is to keep the uh, central part of the top of the sky, the yellow band, uh, bright and then sweep diagonally the orange uh, to meet it in the centre. Now I also wanted to add in this uh, pink tone to the sky. It's a bit of a sunset colours and I've taken my acetate mask uh, to uh, create a shape across the centre of that uh, red band and I was much happier with the colour that I got mixing uh, the pink colour on top.
So now that that's dry, um, as usual, I like to enhance the background, what I've created with the pastel pencils or your pastel of choice. And I'll begin with the sky and I'm uh, going to add a sort of circle in the centre there and um, allow the white to branch out uh, like sun rays and use what you have created already underneath and sort of blend in the white to what's there a little like that. And then I decided that I would like some mist in the background. So rather than start with the white, I've placed down um, the, the dark blue and the light blue first of all, and then use the, the white to blend that out on top. And I'm doing it in little circular motions, creating little fluffy clouds and um, circular shapes like, like cotton wool or cotton candy, whatever way you'd want to describe it. And I'm just carrying on with that the whole way across, all the while um, blending it out with my finger. Now, as you can see, I've completed the castle colouring in the background. I've also used the smaller castle at, at the front of it with the green ink as well. And then I've taken my pastel pencils. I've put the lighter shade to the left hand side, the orange in the centre and then the dark blue at the side on the right. I've also taken my gold sparkle pen and added that into all of the windows. And as you can see, I've only stamped the top half of the castles um, and let the rest fade into the mist. Thank you. 
there you have it. Um, I also added a little bra to or bikini top. Uh, I thought that would be nice just to give her an outfit. And I'm taking finally my diamond stickles and you can use any uh, stickles of choice or glitter of choice. I think I was a bit heavy handed with the wings and put rather a lot on this time and they turned out extra twinkly, which is good. Um, and really all I'm doing is um, using this little bottle of glitter a bit like sunlight and adding a uh, twinkle and sparkle uh, where I think the sun might be catching the light on top of the objects in the picture, dotting it about here and there just to um, enhance the background and give it some obligatory sparkle. So there you are. That's the project complete. I really hope you enjoyed it this week and that it's given you some ideas for your own projects, which I look forward to seeing in due course. And I really hope you enjoy using the new stamps. They really are lovely and it's wonderful to have something new to play with. But of course, until next time, take very good care of yourselves and above all, get creating, be brave and enjoy the adventure. Mm -hmm.